party, the coalition. So Adam, would you want people to vote for somebody that's competent enough to give Australia good internet? Sorry, Is that why? Actually... Do you want do you want people to vote for somebody that is competent enough to give Australia good internet? Is that your mission to achieve good internet? Of course, good internet would be a good thing, but right now it's it's the only important thing. It's impossible because we we're using old structures of in of infrastructure like we don't un like the, the coalition government uh, they they use the wrong nodes to set up the the Telstra network like they use like copper nodes they pay people like this random garrows and random like people who didn't even complete the year 12 certificate they they paid them to just set up the the copper nodes to walk to the MBN structure. And once they set that up, they found out that they used the wrong nodes. <laughs> so they had to they had to re like restructure the entire node system of Australia, which is what they're doing now. And it's the very reason why internet is so fucking shit in Australia. And all you see in political arguments is slings and arrows about, oh, you did a shit job, blah, 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 ad hominem argument. And it's just like, why don't we just get this shit fucking set up? Like, ah! Anyway, I'm going to stop venting. Oh, that's fine. I would be annoyed too. Like, it, we were promised this in 2012. It's 2017! Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, pain in the ass. Yeah, you gotta make a poster with, like, that slogan there for whoever you're advocating to be voted for. Uh, I do enough promoting for the political parties that I support at rallies, at political rallies and protests in Canberra, Sydney, Newcastle, Port Macquarie. Put it for Nashville, whatever political Colcos. values you support. And also, um, it'd be much appreciated if you pay me for the rights of that slogan. I own it. I don't know. Right now, people don't even have proper arguments to, like, all I care about is getting the NBN implemented. What's that? So that it works. NBN? So that it works. But people in Australia seem far too concerned with debating their ideologies over the implementation of, like, this stable internet. So, like, it's just, I don't even have any incentive to go out anymore. I did in the past, but now it's just like, it just seems so obvious to me that people don't, like, even think about how their actions of protesting will make any impact at all. Like, yeah. I, I, I suppose I was dumb in the, in the past to think that even I was to make an impact. I probably wasn't making any impact at all, but I thought I was. But now I'm realizing I just really fucking wasn't. So I now like I'm just does, like, though. like anything you do has some kind of an effect on the world around. It just depends on what level. It's it, it was no effect because all we need to do is set up the nodes properly. We use the wrong copper nodes. We use the wrong structure of metal like we use copper nodes like we 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 just we tried to get around it in the cheap way and now we're paying yeah, the, the price the, co the copper nodes they must be at least like 70 years old or something i don't know but it just doesn't fucking work and that's no. the big deal no because the the dsl technology that goes over copper it is only used 
the already existing copper nodes usually. Like, uh, for example, Norway had good internet. And one of the reasons for that is because of copper infrastructure made by the Nazis. Thank God for the Nazis for good internet. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, but it's true. The one good thing they gave. Yeah, like, uh, there, there were, like, equipment with swastikas on it for use for a long time. I think even some of it's <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Internet is Nazi power, the superior internet to all. German engineering. Yeah, why not? It like, works. Yeah. Like, the internet is just one major flaw in Australia. Another is the way in which we conduct the road rules. Like, if you compare the road rules of Australia to almost any country in Europe, you'll see that we are operating on a really, like, dumb mentality. Like, we, we're we only allowed to travel up to 100 kilometers per, per hour. And I think in, in Europe, it's like, what, 180, 170 no. kilometers? No, that's not normal. Well, what, what is the degree to which you're allowed to travel? In, in, in uh, Sweden, they have 110 some places. But in Norway, we actually have 80. Here it's 80. 80. Most when I'm on the highway. I've seen, I've, I've seen more than 80 in Norway. Where? Oh, you're doing KM. I'll, I'll, I'll have to find you the link. I've got a bookmark on my... Um, I swear, I swear you guys travel more than 80 kilometers. 90 maybe, 90. But that's not common. But have in mind that Norway is 70% mountains. So most of the places is not possible. 70% what, sorry? Mountain. Mountain, yeah. Yeah. But Sweden and Denmark are more flat. Maybe I was looking at Denmark because I did, I did, I did leave. Sorry. I don't know if it's like that anymore, but in Germany they had roads where you could drive as fast as you, as you wanted. The Uber, I uh, forget what it's called. Aut um, Autobahn. Autobahn, yeah, yeah. that. But people drive there respectively, usually, right? Yeah. No, but there's, there's like uh, different lanes and there is like the super fast lane. Yeah. To my understanding, somewhere in Europe was traveling up to at least 160 kilometers per hour. And yeah, that's most likely Germany. Like the vast majority of Australia doesn't exceed one hundred and well, one hundred and ten kilometers at that max. And you have like police officers pulling you up even if you're like crossing lanes at nine. Just by the way you cross lanes, like you have to cross lanes in the most culturally acceptable way, else you're considered a threat to society or danger to society. Like, like, like when they pull you up with the sirens and shit, that, that, that is the first ad hominem argument that they say to you. They say, oh, you're a threat to society because you were, you were traveling at like this speed. Which is like... Yeah, but accidents at those kinds of speeds are nasty. Yeah, I get I get that they experienced them, but like the the argument toward you being a danger based on the speed that you're traveling isn't like sensical. It, like it's just they're using the argument based on the speed you're traveling instead of how you're driving the, the vehicle. Yeah, but it's natural to assume people to be idiots. <laughs> yeah, based on, based on most people being dumb and stupid, but 
But and you shouldn't, if, if you applied Bayes' theorem, where you adjust your hypothesis based on acquiring new evidence, then you would be able to, like, in the same way you should apply Bayes' theorem to MBTI theory or dummy yeah, theory. It's, it, is, it's not, it has nothing to do with being dumb. It's more that uh, people tend to be reckless. Like, if yeah. People, I, I don't deny that the vast majority of people are reckless and stupid drivers. It's just that, like, the police officers who give penalties to people who don't deserve it are giving them penalties based on their, their previous experience of the vast majority of dumb drivers instead of really thinking about their behavior. Yeah. <clears throat> I can see that happening, but that's typical. But like that, 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 that doesn't make any sense at all. Like, like, I mean, it makes sense because that's what they see as police officers every single day. But like, it, 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 it defies all laws of fairness, all, all laws of it's just, I, I can't have respect for any authority like that. Like, I just, I just want to fucking headbutt them, <laughs> really. Like, when I see them, I just want to fucking... That's, that's what I want to do. But and, like, have, it's, it's have, hard they as really, I can. have they done anything to you anytime? They try to insult me, just based on my haircut, or just based on my cultural attitude. They, they will try to insult me. And it's just like, okay, okay, I was riding my bicycle on this road, you pulled me over, you've, you've given me a fine based on not wearing a helmet, now instead of just giving me the fucking fine, you, you're insulting me based on my, my appearance. Now you're trying to put social pressure on me because I'm not conforming to the way that culture conforms to the way that you, you respond to it, with police officers. Because I'm giving them, I'm, give, I'm giving them this. Yeah, but like, like it, to me, it seems like I have to conform. Like to me, it seems like the only way that they will leave me alone is if I conform to the way that they are approaching me. And it's just like, why should I need to approach you in the way that you feel that I need to approach you? I, I can sense that so easily, but it's just like, why? Why? It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, but we live, live in a world full of sensors. But they make me fucking, they drive me insane. Like, <laughs> I, I'm not, I, I am prepared to admit that I actually may be insane. Like, <laughs> I, I may be actually completely insane because I feel no, like headbutting, headbutting yeah, these police officers. No, you're not. You're, you're actually quite normal. I could be insane though because like most people I meet that don't don't could relate to me in the sense that I want to headbutt these police officers. Like I just, when they when when they're like staring me down because the way that like when they usually call me up when I'm riding my bike they say get off the side of the road and they they start commanding me around. But when I see them commanding me, what I do in response is I lean up on top of the their car and I start looking into their car and I start looking around and I'm like, ooh, nice radar, nice uh, invert mirrors. Do you know nice, your uh, Do you know your enneagram? Well, wing one, type nine. Uh, what is the first number? Oh, one. Nine, nine, one wing nine. Yeah. That's interesting. However, I'm not surprised though. So, so when I when they pull up, I, I lean up on top of their car and I look in type, inside of their car and I look at all of their shit because I find that interesting. I want to know what shit they have in their car. I don't care that they want to pull me back and say. Oh, you're not allowed to look in my car. If you're already pulling me up, <laughs> why don't I look in your car anyway? Fuck you. And uh, 
So I want to look inside their car. I want to see what some what sort of scanners they 